A kind day to you all, I am Kinsmark, and considering the lack of proper channels available to do so privately, as I'd have liked, because customer service is above the needs of creators apparently, I have a certain grievance I'd like to file with YouTube. I know they can see this, as they're apparently paying close enough attention to the channel to have considered my first episode of Cards Against Humanity inappropriate content and taken it down. I'll let that sink in for a moment. I kid you not, this is the alert I received from them, addressing it just hours after it went live. Hi, Last Level Press. Thanks for taking the time to learn my real name. Shows how much you care. The YouTube community flagged one or more of your videos as inappropriate. After reviewing the content, we've determined that the videos violate our community guidelines. As a result, we removed the following videos from YouTube. Cards Against Humanity, Chapter 1, A Card Short of a Deck. It's not okay to post large amounts of untargeted, unwanted, or repetitive content on YouTube. Alright, first off, all of those terms are incredibly subjective, and are pretty much just there to keep up GooTube's carte blanche attitude to cull any video they want from their service, which I'll agree, they have all authority to do. I'd just prefer they approach it honestly. If the main purpose of your content is to drive people off of YouTube and onto another site, it will likely violate our spam policies. So you're calling a video I spent more than 10 hours editing spam. Okay. In addition, misleading descriptions, tags, titles, or thumbnails designed to increase views are not allowed. Tags should only be placed in the appropriate tags section and not in the description. Please note that this removal has not resulted in a strike. The YouTube team. <sighs> I cannot fathom how a single point of any of that applies to the video I posted. It is literally a let's play of a few friends and I playing an admittedly crass, albeit inexplicit, card game all comprised of cards and simple text. Let's approach each potential violation point individually, shall we? because I haven't the faintest idea which one is actually applicable here, because they just couldn't tell me, apparently. If the main purpose of your content is to drive people off of YouTube. I think it's pretty friggin' presumptuous of YouTube staff to assume the main purpose of my content in the first place, and if anyone's driving people off of YouTube these days, it's YouTube themselves. Though I think it's pretty clear that said purpose is to entertain an audience. Compellingly novel concept, I know. I can only see this particular point holding up against me for having had the audacity to include a link to the site we use to play online in the description of the video. I didn't ask anyone to click it, I mentioned it a single, solitary time, certainly didn't try to provide any scammy incentive for anyone to do so, nor was I paid a cent to promote their site. So if that's the cause, clearly according to the logic you're claiming here, YouTube, if this is the case, and including that link was the cause of the takedown, then Every video I've ever posted that included a link to a site other than YouTube, like, oh, I don't know, every indie game, mod spotlight, and review I've ever posted is in violation of this spam policy. As is the entire content library of every other considerate Let's Player on YouTube. And yet only this one got popped for it. Curious. Either that, or including links to one's own social media platforms is against the rules all of a sudden. And considering YouTube's integration of such services in the About section of any given channel tab, color me confused and or skeptical of that as the cause. <sighs> Item the next. Misleading descriptions, tags, titles, or thumbnails. Alright, I'll come clean here. I've made clever use of meta tags since I got started. It's how the YouTube game is played. Like they teach you in their Creator Academy. Including the names of games I play, their devs, their publishers, the consoles they appear on, that's all common practice. As well as similar games to the ones I'm covering, Let's Players who've also covered it or whom I share a similar style with, that kind of thing. Could the latter get interpreted as gaming the system? 
Maybe. I consider it casting a wide net to ensure I show up in similar content feeds. I'd cut that from my routine instantly if I knew the finer points of YouTube's policies about meta tags, especially if it were confirmed that that is what caused this takedown. I just don't warrant a clear answer at all though, apparently! In lieu of a multiple choice quiz form of a letter that I'm left to sift through the indecipherably subjective potentiality of. I hate form letters, can you tell? Tags should only be placed in the appropriate tag section and not in the description. I think it's safe to say, including the name of the game I'm playing and a chapter title, cause English grad, isn't exactly cheating the tag placement game, so that's off the table of concern, and shouldn't have even seen inclusion in this email at all, frankly. I know it's a form letter, likely an automated one. I still take offense at the rudeness of that, and nothing will ever convince me otherwise, just so we're clear. I've sat in a supervisor's seat, YouTube, and anyone worth their paycheck knows when reprimanding a subordinate, specificity is key. Tell the person what they've done wrong and how to keep it from happening again. This? This is the equivalent of throwing a job's policy manual at my face and telling me to figure it the fuck out! It's condescending, ineffective, and inefficient. A failure of management if ever I saw one. <sighs> Please note that this removal has not resulted in a strike. At least there's that. One might ask, why then am I making such a large deal about this? Simple. The principle. Action was taken against my channel that I feel was made in error and I aim to address that, no matter how minor it is. I've since appealed the removal and, almost immediately, received an answer. In fact, it came so fast as to lead me to question whether it was really reviewed at all, or just auto-confirmed at their system's end, circumventing any living person at YouTube at all, and effectively rendering the entire appeals process a hollow facade of a formality. As I'm sure you can tell, YouTube are upholding their decision to keep the episode pulled, and again, failed to specify why at all. All that said, I want to make something clear. I know YouTube thinks I've done wrong, and even though I disagree, if I knew specifically what it was that they're taking such offense at, I'd fix it. I just can't, because YouTube is too damn lazy to do anything other than make some vague mention of, eh, community guidelines, I don't know. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Half of that letter is subjective as hell, and the rest of it is so damn vague I have no idea what they think the violation is, so I can't make any changes to keep this from happening again! And lastly, there's one more point I'd like to address. One might have noticed a certain line in the email I read earlier. The YouTube community flagged one or more of your videos as inappropriate. I know what that means, and I've left it to last for a reason. Everything I've just said is indeed aimed at YouTube, as at the end of the day, they are the arbiters and adjudicators of this platform. They just rely on their users to perform curation, though their abusably flawed automated system is the cause and impetus and the vehicle for it. And someone decided to call the judges on me for a video that, as I've just explained, doesn't meet a single one of YouTube's community guideline criteria for exclusion from the platform. So everything I've just said also applies to a certain someone who knows who they are. And feel free to flag this video too, just so we're clear. Like the petulant little child you are, I'll just re-upload it with a slight edit as many times as I have to, because I will not let you silence me. So, in conclusion, a hearty fuck you to the coward that flagged that video in the first place. You could have commented. You could have messaged me. Hell, you could have thumbs down the video. You could have taken a diplomatic route. You could have acted like an adult. Instead, you just had to get your way and couldn't stand the idea of actually communicating with someone to do it. You reached straight for the digital sword rack and came out swinging without any admission of cause, and now you feel vindicated, I know. 
because YouTube's automated system, a system so demonstrably flawed as to serve as evidence against over-reliance upon itself, agrees with you. The same system that fails to account for any channel's use of copyrighted content for the purposes of fair use, agrees with you. The same system that relies upon in-specific form letter responses drawn from whatever help page is relevant to the drop-down flag menu you clicked, agrees with you. The same system that has flagged channels' own videos for infringing upon their own copyrights, agrees with you. Congratulations! Aren't you just chuffed? I am not an unreasonable man. If I have honestly offended someone, if I crossed some line I'm just not aware of, I am truly, deeply, honestly sorry. Know that such was not and is never my intention. I poke a lot of fun at a lot of people, and it's only ever meant to entertain. As they say, there's no accounting for taste, and I know I'll always offend someone, as that's just the way the world works. Cause people. Cause culture. Cause differences. Though I do try to keep from crossing a certain line of decency. Cause respect. All I ask is, educate me. If I upset you, tell me what it was that so offended you as to threaten the very livelihood of my channel with a potential strike instead of simply hiding from the cover of your anonymity to silence someone with a sense of humor incompatible to your own. In any case, I have a little experiment I'd like to conduct after all of this. I'll see about cutting the pulled episode into a new edit sometime in the next few days and re-uploading that, sans any title save a placeholder and no tags whatsoever. And let it sit, vulnerable, on the channel for a day or so. And I'll wait to see if it gets flagged again, to see if I'm allowed to crack a joke on my own channel anymore, or to see if a game's website I can include for the convenience of my viewers, or even, more risky, to see if I'm allowed to have fun and do my goddamn job without the interference of people who abuse YouTube's curation system to attack channels that aren't perfectly in line with their tastes. I know, I'm a risk taker, what can I say? So, thank you kindly for hearing me out if you've made it this far, and for watching. I hope to have this sorted out as soon as I can, and I eagerly await the results. Know that I will not cancel the Cards Against Humanity series over this, no matter how many tantrums any intellectually stunted cowards throw, and I hope to have the next installment out sometime within a week or so of the fixed first episode. I am Kinsmark here at Last Level Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming. And Godspeed.